Hey guys, it's Kim with Some Days Here. We decided we would go ahead and show you and show you our boat and do a boat tour today. Um, it's a 42 Jefferson and stay tuned. We're gonna bring you aboard. Come on along with us. Done. We have them over, over there. We're going to bring them to somebody to go have them done or whatever. But it's going to say, Some days here when we get through on each side. So we're over here in Springfield, Louisiana, right outside of Hammond, which is on the Tickfall River. And come on. front of the boat. I forget what it's called. <laughs> the bow. The bow. Excuse me, y'all. So. so we got a locker up there for the lines to be stored yeah. in. It's really just the igloo that's set on stuff in it. Got the icing glass up there. So. The V-berth hatch right there. The windows, the fly bridge. We just bridge. took the stuff off the windows right here. Yep, took all the red off. Thinking about changing the red to black. What y'all think it would look like? Comment down below. We love the black. Yep, we're thinking about going black and getting rid of that. And we're going to have all this buffed and cleaned and for a lot, a lot of money. <laughs> but that's the point. Let's go. That's right. We got to make it look clean. That's right. We want it to look our, our own. It's not going to be cheap. But nothing ever is with a boat. So. Of course, if you want to guess how much is, we've had estimates to clean this boat up from compounding to wax to detailing, put in the comments below. We may even do a giveaway if you if you're close the, the closest person to it, which you will be amazed. <laughs> we could give a good. We have something to give away too. This is up in the flybridge. Isn't that what it's called? Mm hmm So we gotta store that stuff, but we cleaned all this up. But it's gonna be cleaned by the people professionally. All this is gonna be cleaned and they guaranteed it's gonna all come clean, so we'll see. Yep, we got the high water high water alarms, storage underneath. Way lots of storage. I can fit underneath there. There's uh depth here there's depth here redundancy plus there's one down lower all your tack gauges and everything right here you took the I took the uh, Garmin out of here uh, just so it wouldn't accidentally disappear and grow legs autopilot over here compass and the VH or UHF uh, radio and this is Stratoglass up here this is a drizing glass so the dinghy will guarantee that all that's going to come clean too the dinghy will uh, sit back here, uh, up in his cradle with the davit up there. We brought a little uh, Magic Chef refrigerator up here, uh, top side, to be able to store stuff while we're cruising. Easy access to water. Here's Princess P. Hey, hi, Princess P. This is out here on the sun deck. We sit out here a lot. Kim bought this furniture to go in here. And the table's too big, it's got to go. So this was already on here. 
we bought this and we bought this, so we're going to get like a little smaller little table. Daryl doesn't know this yet to go right here because it's way too big to go in this little spot. But this is where we sit at night and we watch TV and YouTube. So come on in. This is in the salon. We have taken all the mini blinds down, cleaned everything, wiped down everything with Murphy's oil soap. Um, I made some little curtains. I'm not a seamstress, but I tried my best. We got a little couch for here, which we actually have ordered another one, and we're going to show a review on it when it actually comes in. It is called um, From Home Reserve. This one's going to go to the RV, and the one that we bought is a square. And it's got ottomans and stuff in it so that you can take it out and it's just like a big square couch and Daryl and I can lay here and watch TV if the weather's bad or whatever we want to do. So it'll be an L shape going from this side over here, here all the way over and here. then the ottoman will fit in the middle. Yeah, so it makes like a square. <clears throat> yep. These are the lower controls. That's where you'll uh, cruise the boat during bad weather. Here you have your uh, throttles and then each uh, uh, two engines forward and reverse. Um, but we're not going to actually be traveling too much when it's bad weather. Nope. Only if we get stuck in it. God forbid. And we have a door over here on the starboard side that I can get out. Easy access to help one line to grab lines to help tie off. We have a sound system over here but we're going to get rid of all this. Yeah, it's a bunch it of DVDs out. and a big I don't know. That could be here from the 80s. I don't know. But I'm sure it is. We don't need all that big gear. So we we're going to figure it out from the 80s. <laughs> yeah, we're going to take it out and redo it. Down here, we are going to redo the cushions in the salon. The galley. I'm sorry. It's the galley, right? Galley. Mm -hmm. So we're going to redo this in a navy to match this. And it's just outdated. So Kim did the curtains up here. Yeah. Redid those. Come on down. The galley over here. So down here we have a toaster oven, which has really came in handy because we really haven't been able to use, don't really use the oven too much. So or the stove. We use the microwave and this most of the time. Um, I made this little curtain. These need to be cut down still. They're a little big. Refrigerator behind you. Yeah, it's really it's a nice size little refrigerator. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. And then it's got the little freezer underneath. It's got the freezer underneath there, which is not bad. And storage underneath. So plenty of storage yeah. on this boat. This is the bathroom. The This is the head, the forward head. Yeah. And So you got a shower, a no. separate shower in here, so this is not a wet no, we uh, we've never even used a shower before. But it's a nice shower. We're thinking about putting our um, our washing machine in here. Yep. So this is this would be a, uh, a head for the forward uh, guests or crew uh, on the forward V-berth. Uh, electric uh, toilet uh, mm -hmm. or head. And some storage below. It's a nice big bathroom. It's yep. not bad. LED lights. And it's pretty clean, so. Of course, I cleaned it. <laughs> this is going to be kind of dark. Sorry, guys. This is, let's see if we can do this. Oh, no, it didn't. I'm able to get all the way, but it don't. This, you want to come in here? No. That's the. This is the V berth. Instead of the, the single queen up here, they've enlarged actually the bathroom in here and made additional uh, storage. So you have a lower, upper and lower bunk. Uh, here, uh, air conditioning controls. So this air conditioner here will feed the aft cabin and the forward cabin. And it blows pretty good. Of course, this is all the manuals that came with the boat. It's complete documents all the way back to 1987, uh, uh, showing the uh, different stuff that was on the boat. Little printer there. So, uh, people say when you're in different ports and stuff, you got to print off a lot of documents. And this door will close, and there's a hatch up above. 
there's uh, also a cabinet right here where you store wet And then you have a locker, locker right there. And then there's two drawers here. Yep, so a lot of storage up here. So walking back aft, your settee on the right, your kitchen on or galley on the left has a water filter up underneath here. And here it is you up have there. filtered water here, hot and cold running water here. And a microwave and then your but the stove and the the oven does work, so we just don't use it too much. This this will lift up here to give you access to the engine room if you had to crawl under there to do something. Otherwise, there's four hatches right here that open up and that's where you can get down in the engine and work on it. So the two engines are right below. Those are 3208 Caterpillar uh, engines, uh, 260 horsepower, and there's a also an 8KW uh, generator down below here uh, that provides power to the boat if needed. And it's all done beautifully. And it also has two 8D uh, batteries below, plus a group, I believe it's a group 31 battery for the generator. So plenty of storage for power. Um, there's no solar on this boat yet. We're thinking about it, but we uh, haven't got that far yet. It's one of the plans that we may or may not do. So let's go aft okay. to the aft cabin. Go Our down. bedroom. Go down about three set of stairs. It was funny. I washed all the curtains in here, and they all fell apart when I washed them. So I had to watch YouTube's and learn how to sew so I can make some more curtains for in here. So Kim made all the curtains in here. We changed out the the mattress, I believe, the, no, topper. We put the topper, and. Uh, Put some pillows we want, on here. We want to change out the arm. Um, we're, we're going to redo this and get this functional. But Daryl did all of this. We should have done YouTube on it where he changed on all this from yep. when we bought it. It was all. When we first got it, there was window leaks on both these windows. There was damage where the was veneer bad. was bad, water damage over here, but the, the substrate was good. So I took it apart and redid it, and I think it came out pretty good. It came out really good. Uh, that's just like new, so it, it is. looks good here. A little TV. You got a couple lockers here for wardrobe. They're room. really deep. I mean, don't don't judge right now, guys. But so we got that one. One over here. And then we have this. This is really deep and and deep. I mean, it's deep this way and it's long this way. So and okay. then on and this get, side. Then you got a little makeup thing. Yeah. Working here, little storables for yeah, the makeup. Admiral. And some more storage. Some more, yep. And then we have this. And you got another locker over there on that side with more storage over yep. there. And then we have these drawers, and we have all, each one of us has three drawers on each side of our bed. And underneath the bed is a uh, 200 and I think 25 gallon water tank underneath this bed. So the fuel tanks are on e are, are both uh, starboard and port of the engines in the center of the boat. So isn't there something on each side of the on those couches too? No. Nope. I thought they had said that they had something stored there. Well, there's storage under there, but all right. All right then we got the. Uh, oh, the bathroom. I mean, the head. The head. That's right. The head. The the master captain's cabin this head. Is? This this unit here comes with a bathtub and a shower unit. Yep. And it's got another electro, electric uh, flush uh, head. Nasty. Works good. So all in all, pretty good in here. Yeah. Pretty clean. Uh, we looked uh, long and hard on this uh, for a boat in this condition, and it was tough to find one, but we finally found one, and we're happy with this. We put money into it. I mean, it's not like it was just a... We put a lot of labor into it, basically, right now, so far. Yeah. And we're going to make it our own. Yeah. Do a bunch of stuff. And get it to oh, where it are. needs to be. But these are very nice boats. Along. This boat was... This boat here was on the the loop, did the loop, and also did the Bahamas. 
And so lived on it's keys, huh? and they lived on it for ten years. So yeah. it's not like it's just been sitting on the dock. So mm -hmm. that's what we're looking forward to. I think Princess is <coughs> too. You ready to go, Princess? Princess is ready to go. Have Rick a good time. Bye bye. She loves that. Normally, when we're in the, the RV traveling or whatever, she pants and whines and everything else the whole time. But on the boat, she sits up there. She's relaxed. She's just calm. It doesn't even phase her. It's really strange. So anyway, yes. that's the tour of our boat. Hope you enjoyed it. We're going to be coming back, like we said, to show you when our couch comes in. We're going to show you when we put it together, if y'all are interested in something like that, on home reserve. So we can show you that. Um, I'm going to show you, if you're interested, I can show you like my top five to ten gadgets I have on the boat that I like to cook with or actually use daily on here. If you're interested in something like that, let me know. Um, other than that, y'all have a great day. Have a nice weekend. Yeah, make sure you subscribe so you can catch all our, our uh, uh, maintenance items on this that I'm going to go through. And Kim's going to do a bunch of stuff on the inside for uh, decorations and get the boat where it's comfortable for us to live on. Yeah. So please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. It really helps us out in the ratings. We, we love doing these videos and would like your help of... Uh, trying to get us up in the uh, the YouTube standings um, just remember all you have to do is stop the madness start the adventure have a good one y'all